In this guide I'll show you how to get an early portable port crystal. Quest to do so starts in Vermorth. It's in front of Roderick Smithy, there's gonna be an elf. Talk to him, buy any kind of bow, probably the cheapest one, and then give it to him. Um, yeah? uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I uh, those of other races differ so in- That's all tis mind. Uh, and even if I did, no matter how they fascinate me, it isn't to be. I've all manner of arms for such. Oh, come, have yourself a look. Hope to see you again. Tis it's most ex these foreign bows do so intrigue me, but I shall admire. You would for the next part of the quest, you're gonna have to change vocation to archer. Equip the bow, go to the quest marker, and shoot one of the targets. Let us begin at once. Um, I, I, I... That concludes first part of the quest. A reward is Ring of Proximity and some gold. Now get back to Wernworth. He could be at one of two locations. One of the locations is when you met him the first time, in front of Roderick Smithy. Another location is in front of your house. The trial of archery is nigh. If we would bear witness, we must first go to the ruins where Sir Glindor... Go to the marker on the map and he's gonna be waiting for you there. Walk with him to Sacred Arbor and watch some scenes play out. Last part of the quest is in the Ancestral Chamber. Go to the quest marker indicated on the map Enter Ancestral Chamber. At the end of Ancestral Chamber there's gonna be a situation that's gonna play out in a specific way. What you need to do is, after the elf shoots the troll, ogre or whatever it is, run in, grab the girl and get out of Ancestral Chamber. That's gonna conclude the quest and your reward is gonna be Repeller Bow and Port Crystal. We succeeded in rescuing Miss Darren. Our efforts are sure to...